after that as he's brought down. Okay. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the Ooh. first half. You've Long got ball. to take Long some pressure off of this young quarterback. Long ball. What you got? No better way to do it what you got? than to establish you got the game early. And that is caught. Oh, 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 oh. With a loss, and wow. they'll try again next week at What's home wrong with that? against New England. Look at that. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll What's good, yo? Yeah, yeah. Back again, baby. No more music. I turned that shit off. Feel me? Now I can show you some good stuff. You feel me? Ah. Uh, Good. What you got? Yes, baby. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm the man. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Alright, next week. Who we got? Cowboys? I ain't wanna skip nothing though. Gotta make sure I'm doing it right. What's Start this? your week by installing your game plan. What's this? Hey man, put this way up as far as you wanna go. Cause me and my guys got it first locked down. Oh yeah? This is right now. It's a good stuff, good stuff. I hear you man. But you can. Okay. Yeah. We got this. Okay, I'm a try. Nah. We good, we good. Let's play. No training, man. Skip. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready, baby. I got this. We got this. We got this, man. All right, we got this. We got this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Can Zeke dink again? It's the coach. This is the 2019 season on EA Sports. Coming up, Ezekiel Elliott, fresh off 100 yards a week ago, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Washington Redskins. With that, we'll get up to FedEx Field for the Washington home opener. Standing by, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And coach, we find ourselves due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Just as we were getting ready for air, both teams coming out of their locker rooms, out of the tunnel, and this crowd is pumped up as their Redskins get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Redskin team as they enter play here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. That's me right there. That's me right there. Uh-huh. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready, man. 
Uh huh. You can do it, dog. This is it, man. Two for wins last time out, so something's got to give here. I mean, that's good, man. Teams come in off of wins, great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well played game. Yep. Last week. Ooh, that was nice, huh? You got my back today. You got my back. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's pass the ball. Alright. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. I see you, bro. I see you. I see you, baby. Richardson. And they get it back. Get it back. Good job. We got this. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Get back. Yeah, baby. Uh huh. You got this right here, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you, man. Got you. One play has him up past the 40 Ooh, already, good. and another first and 10. Check, check. Let's go. That's right. They'll look to throw here. No, nope. I'm first running, but I'm running, baby. Ooh. Uh huh. Yes, it is. I got killed, man. Down, the pick yeah. up 15 yards. Uh, Partner, he was uh, going through uh, his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And yep. he slides down and avoids the hit. For yeah. good measure. That was nice, man. You see that? I want to get hit, man. All right, let's find the ball. Back to back, good plays. Have him on the let's move. Find the ball. First down. We can run. We can run. This is Chris we can run. It is seven we can run. now as a red skin. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Okay. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the Ooh. first half. You've Long got to take off of this young quarterback. Long ball. What you got? No better way to do it what you got? than to establish you got the game early. And that is caught. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Let's see where it goes. Oh, nice, man. Yo. This guy right here, man. This guy right here. Yeah. First quarter touchdown here. There's no guarantee. Woo. Bad. Thank you. Are going to hold up and be the average all year long. They're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you're putting the heads of all of your opponents. We kind of really. Oh, we got to stop. Good job, good job. All right, what we got? On the one to the left. They'll come out throwing here. Yep. On first down. Dancing to his left. <laughs> Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Yep. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for him. <laughs> Oh, let's run the ball. Yeah. First and ten now from the thirty. I'm going to back to you. I'm oh. going back to you. Now a man in his thirteenth NFL season. It's Adrian Peterson, and he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the thirty-two. Come on, man. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Yeah. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Go, 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 go. We play. do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Okay. What are you talking about? So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still second down. What happened? Man. Get your hand so in the game, man. After the incompletion for second down. Right, got it. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by George Iloka. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. Ah, wow. What the happened? Here 
Here's the Dallas oh offense now, God. heading back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, oh Charles, God. you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football. How that happen, dog? We're still winning, man. Here we go, here we go. All right, and come on. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. The looting Ooh, right. Oh, my God. And as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and that'll bring up second down. Even though he's a fourth rounder, I think he might have a chance to play and prove that, hey, I could have been taken higher in that draft. And we've seen so many times now. Guys who go. Oh, my God. What was going on, man? Free agents that become. Big time players, Pro Bowl players, so you never know. What's going on? Has a chance to be a really good player. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. Go for it. No. My God, man. 70 Indy. Bring it. Bring it. Defense. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Stop. You can't touch the ball, man. Why you keep jumping? Oh, my God. That tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Well, that's a pretty darn good start to his season. Wow. A sack in the opener, adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Now on third and long, they'll look to Thank throw. You, He's going to air one out. Thank you. And unable to connect, incomplete. Oh, my God. Give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath. He catched it. it was in the Why are you throwing it? What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from Why a long distance, you and have a chance to affect the pass. Wow. Wow. Why are you dropping the ball, man? You're killing me right here, man. You're killing me. Looking to throw. A hit as God. he throws there, incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down. Come on, man. You need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, I can downs to play well. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect, but as you alluded to, he does have that touch. Good job, it, please. My God. Why are you keep talking for, man? Before he's taken down. 21 yards there on third down. I know many people like to throw come on, the throw to tight maybe in a little flexed out no, position because come on. he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. I was looking for him now. Back to throw now on second and ten. I would say it probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because I'm they're sorry, definitely man. different I don't know But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Now look to throw. Thank you. And a throw there going to be incomplete. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they're killing me, dog. Yo, that's bopping everything, man. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back they're dropping everything. Coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle. You catch it, dog. You just dropping. Football. You just dropping, man. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Drop it again. No. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This rock and edit it, man. This can't hold on to the ball. Coachman, he'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by George Iloka. There he goes, left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Third down pass. On the ready. This is stupid, dog. Mike, 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 Mike. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He's going to let this one go deep. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. But I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Get him right away in the saddle and say, go ahead and sling it, big guy. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And that takes us from second to third down. They'll set up a throw. And he can't hang on to it. <laughs> Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Oh, my God. They're going to look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. This is a bad game, You're trailing, yo. you're trying to get points late. A bad game. A reminder coming up later tonight, Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night football, Odell Beckham back in New York, back in that oh, stadium. Browns and Jets, 815 Eastern on Monday night. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So that one will be accepted. Still first down. This is bad. Now back to throw. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. And it's second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, what? but not one that they can't make. Oh my God, what's going on, man? Second down, but this what is going incomplete. on. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and it's third down. Back to throw here. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. We always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. 
I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. I think this one comes under the heading of sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because you and I both know coaches go crazy seeing their quarterbacks roll out, in this case, to the right side and try to throw back into the middle of the field. You get away with one there. A gain there of 21 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive yeah. rolling. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no oh. doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Paul Richardson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. Man. Ah, uh, game over. We done. Go, sixty Pittsburgh. He'll look to throw. And his pass <laughs> yes. is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And this one will be brought back to the 22. <sighs> the look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play call because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. And this is caught. A spectacular one handed grab there. 23 yards to pick up there. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? I mean, those gloves, yeah. they do have a little grip to them. They get that little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the... And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Wow. Christian Covington forced his way through, drops wow. him for a loss of 10 yards. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. The Redskins on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. Here it's third and two. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well yeah. together. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. <laughs> So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and maybe more importantly, a victory in the division, which always helps. And on the road. How about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Yeah, Most they time, thumped them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up on the road 
big margin, big victory. Oh yeah, that flight home will be good. Wow. So for the Cowboys, it was a great all-around wow. performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Redskins, they'll fall. Wow. Bad game. We keep dropping the ball, man. I see a lot of turnovers, man. It's crazy, dog. God. My God, man. Stupid, dog. Oh, ay, yeah, yeah, ay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Start your week by installing your game plan. Nice game. Let's do this. Man, I ain't talking to none of y'all, man. Let's just do this. Ah, we got this. We got this. We got this. I know what to do. Everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and the Washington Redskins. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with the Chicago Bears. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Redskin team as they enter play here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they come in at an early crossroads here, facing a tough opponent on the road this. where a loss would make them 0-3. And when you start that way, doubts really start to creep into a locker room, and guys start to battle each other instead of worrying about winning games. <sighs> ah, come on. Quick press. They'll look to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. Physical play on the football there. They keep popping the ball, man. Richardson there. But you can't hold on to it. Fourth round guy, and many thought that's about where he would go, but I think he's got some upside, right? He can come right in and be what they call a core special teams player, plan all four phases of it, and have a chance to work his way into the lineup. I think a year or two down the road, they could have a solid starter. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago, really it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting ball. organization, you can't general like manager, that. personnel department, college scouts. It all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. Man. Ready, ready. Back to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sack back at the five-yard line. <laughs> 
Oh, we got time to throw the ball. He's the culprit dropping him for a two yard loss. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack. Well, they changed that quickly. But did they ever? And it was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How are they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but... No! Wrong person! about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pre-game. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people... My God. <laughs> Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Super tough. It's Man, a loss of four. Wow. Now third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the loss yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of... Don't drop it! Don't drop the ball! I knew it was going to drop it, I knew it! Trying to make that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. <laughs> Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. I need like going to wrap it. Rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. <sighs> The really Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Good leaving. Okay. Second and three. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the third and three. Injured. And now time will be called here as we got an injured Redskin down on the field. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. Wow. Wow. You ready? Well, that last completion certainly not what they were hoping for, is now they'll try to convert on third. They'll look to throw here. And it Come is on. incomplete. Give me time to pass. Give me time to pass. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Oh, the big guys come on. Receiver and he's brought down. Khalil Mack able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. They'll drop the throw, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. I don't know, man. I don't know what going on. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. It's almost like you can see. I don't know what to do. 
I took 20 bad pass. A I reminder that we pass. kick off week four on Thursday night. A good one in Lambeau. Eagles and Packers, two teams with eyes on the playoffs this year. In <laughs> rush, and down he goes. Hot Rock Clinton Dix making the safety blitz look easy. Zooms in for the sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. They'll set up the throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this wow. is going to be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 39. And here come the Redskins now. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back okay. on track here. I, know now I, can't just I guess so... it's time now to lean on that leadership. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced wow. him on the coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, so much of the offer is confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated to the time again. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, but now it'll be third down. The one with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. He was looking for Matthews that time. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and it's third and short. I like the play action there on second and short, partner. You try and convince those safeties you're going to run for it. Hit them with that play action. Looks like a run. They try and go over the top. Didn't work, but I like the play call. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. He'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And avoids the contact by sliding. Ten yards there, good for a Redskin first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and ten at the 47. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Flushed out right. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough know. to hold on to that one. It's second down. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, but it's going to be second down. Back to throw now on second and ten. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Prince of Mukamara. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. 
A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. I don't want to there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit. Uh, throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one oh, brace yeah, yeah, yeah. on What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. The Redskins oh. offense now, they head back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just... I, and that's caught inside the field. Okay, finally. That one goes He's for 37 it. yards. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts it out there for a big time. You can't hold on to the ball. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Polluting the pressure right. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson. And that'll make it third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the... You can't hold so on to the ball, the man. Redskins. You're down on the scoreboard, and this is not what you want to see. 99 yards of field in front of you. And it just shows how important a good punt. And he is going to go down for the fifth time tonight, and this one is going to be a safety. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Escaping the pressure right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. An eligible receiver downfield, offense. <laughs> Come on now, let's go! Still first down. Set up, 50, play. Check, check, 59. It's been a long day for you. Let's go! Looking to throw. Going up top. And that is incomplete. <laughs> Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. That'll bring up second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Now on third down. Man. 
I can't score, man. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. To throw now on first down. And a big loss. Nobody's open, He's though. Down. Akeem Hicks at 6'5", 332, finds his way home for the sack. Hey, you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. Like yeah, he he is. In his defense, I got him. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah, he needs better protection, that's for sure. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. And he hits his man, Matthews. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are the points mm, coming, I and think. down he goes. Oh. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear, and if this continues on... There I'm a guy. Quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional yep, receiver I'm a guy. is starting to leave the man. game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. A route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. That's what I can do. In the end zone, Washington Redskins touchdown. That's what I the defense can do. was almost too good on that play. They took away all of his targets. The one thing they forgot to account for him as a runner and he's able to tuck it and go for the end zone and get it done. They're fired out. That's a big game. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten. Flush to his right. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost... So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears, and they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. Again. So for the Bears, they're Thank into you. the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Washington, they will fall to a similar mark 
at one and two. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. Wow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our good, crew. Uh, we're not really good. Good. You've been watching the NF. We're not good. What you got? I know. Okay. Shake it start. And up and down for us to hold on. Start your week by installing your game plan. Okay. Ah, uh, we got this. We got this. This we got it. It's this. I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, they're two on two, Patriots. Welcome in, everybody. It's the uh, coach. This. this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Oh, Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, we've had spotty showers since about 7 a.m. here in D.C., and the radar indicates it's going to continue. But nothing to stop football from happening at FedEx Field. Yep, Just as nice. we were getting ready for air, both teams coming out of their locker rooms, out of the tunnel, and this crowd is pumped up as their Redskins get set to match up with Tom Brady. And the New England Patriots. Baby, I'm just going to run for the ball. Run for the ball. Charles, we look at running. this Redskins no team as they enter play. You can't catch the ball, they man. Winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. You're not good. No more passing. Forty-six yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him, and he took full Ooh. advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and ten at the forty-six. Back to throw here. They'll roll him out right. I'm running, dog. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. 
containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush oh. lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. They're going to look to throw. They'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Probably me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three six. One hand, baby. Touchdown, Washington. Paul Richardson. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Redskins take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. A sensational one-handed grab of the end zone for the score. Looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl every year in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Oh, you're so kind. Ooh. That's definitely in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys going after the ball, the receivers especially. Oh my God! With Bentley. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. And now he'll tuck it and run. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Let's go. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. He'll look to throw. Nope. 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 Down to the 29. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On the ball! They'll set up a throw, escaping the pressure right. Ooh. So he stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of it? And this is going to be intercepted. <laughs> I hate that dude. Jason McCurry. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football. I hate that dude. That's an experienced DB picking off a rookie, and you know sometimes those experienced DBs, they love going against the young pups, don't they? And I go back to the offseason, had a quick conversation with him about... I hate passing. I really do. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set so to take hard. over here. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, so hard to pass, man. Win, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now back to throw. This one complete to Jordan Reed. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 33. Oh! <laughs> throw. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. 
Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw is probably worse than the one he threw the interception. <laughs> <laughs> for Washington touchdown. Jeremy Sprinkle, his first touchdown on the year. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. <laughs> And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end's such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends yeah. catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was... A He finds an opening past the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Come on. God. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Flushed out right. It was Sean Matthews here on the catch. 23 yards on the play. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Yep. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first I down. Three right. down, three down. I the right. They'll look to throw here. Nope. Loading the pressure nope. right. He's got a first down and much more inside the trip. Nope. Big yardage there on the scramble and it gets him a first down. Obviously a big play was needed. And you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. Yep. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. in succession not sure this D knows what hit him but right, now they right, gotta go. get ready it's first and goal they'll look to throw escaping the pressure right to the goal line but it's incomplete down this close to the goal line first down surprised that wasn't a run I am and you know I'm old school I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action maybe throwing it and oh. he's gonna go down just outside of the five right around the six yard line second goal last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football had to eat it and ended up on the ground I know. they'll set up to throw he can run for it and he will <laughs> he opted to go with a scramble gets two yards and now it's fourth A reminder about Sunday night football later tonight. It's a rematch from the divisional round last year. Colts and Chiefs from Arrowhead. Then tomorrow on Monday night, the Browns and 49ers from Levi's Stadium. Well, the Browns already playing their third primetime game in the season's first five weeks. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Ooh, I can't run no Throwing the out route and goal. Oh. It's Reed. Eleven yards there. First down. I can't run no more. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Nice. They go play action here on first down. And, and drop it. has it right side. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Called it a very strong gain of 24. 
So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. Come on. Corks one for Davis. And the seven yard line. Thank you. The is made. Touchdown, Washington. Vernon Davis. His second touchdown on the season. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown Perfect. passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. I'm trying. I'm trying. I would be in here. Let's go, D Titan. They'll look to throw here on first down. Ooh. He's gonna sling this deep down. And that's caught inside Ooh. 25. Ooh. He takes Ooh. it. Ooh. Touchdown, Washington. Paul Richardson. An 80 yard touchdown. Uh -huh. And the Redskins find a way to uh -huh. stretch the uh -huh. lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's one been doing one. for about one seven finish. years. Four touchdown passes. That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. That's what I want to see, man. scramble it's second down looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said if at first you don't succeed try try again and finally able to hold him in check he'd been carving him up running the ball that's the first time i think i've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup yeah i don't think it was a big adjustment but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go and he goes down it's a Patriots sack. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. Why? So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams move here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go next. Go! 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 Yards. Wow. The Redskins are going to add on to their lead. Brandon, remind me again. This is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes <laughs> are telling me something. I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> is about brutal so take away the long touchdown it's a cruel game sometimes partner wow wow i like play like this here's a play fake as they set up to throw 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second match. down. Plus Matt. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that's going to be a tough catch all the way yes. because of the presence of the defense right there. Plus to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Yeah. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really ah. And he's taken down. He is proving his worth defensively. Getting the sack here, that comes after being named the AFC Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in last week's game. He's stacking games together, isn't he? I mean, you just mentioned what he did the previous week to be named AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Continuing to play at that level. And when you get that kind of confidence going, those kind of guys are hard to stop. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Yeah. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. And off comes to Peterson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Nice job there on the tackle. Keep him to the short gain. And of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Now a play fake here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? Uh, he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. They cannot hold us down. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Flush to his right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. Too much sack. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm going to on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, well, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They give it to Peterson. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. It's a big run for AP. Give him 58 yards on the ground. So a big run for AP, and when you look at the total package, everyone knows the level of player he's been in this league, but what really impresses you about Adrian Peterson? I have to go back to the nickname his father gave him, which is AD, which stands for oh, anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Flushed out right, and the pressure gets to him again. <laughs> has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. Looking to throw. Steps away to his... Ooh. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Woo. That's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Nope. And he will score. Touchdown, Woo. Washington. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. He doesn't need a lot of space for an electric run. He showed that there. Heck, they told us this week they were hoping he would break a big one. He just did. And what did his offensive, I mean, remember we talked with the offensive line, and one of the guys, one of the stalwarts said, I don't have to make a great block for him. Yep. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second and nine now. Eluding the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. Oh, yeah? The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the pass is just... And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Down under two minutes to go in this foot. And a look at Washington as they come onto the field. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy wow. upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. Their clock management 101. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. This is inside the 15. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll drop the throw. And it's caught. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Washington. Thank you. Yes. Yes. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. Yes. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. Ooh. Well, I've got to laugh here. It's not easy. I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late. Not necessary. It's not easy. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This is how this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room. It's not easy. A Ooh. big offensive explosion helped Ooh. leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. Oh God, that wasn't so easy. for Washington, they move back over 500 at three and two now that on the easy. year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for New England, they drop below 500 to two and three with a loss. And wow. they'll try again next week at What's home wrong with that? against New England. Look at that. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch wow. you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Wow. All right, guys. That's it, man.
be that speed, man. I need it. I need it. I need it. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. I need it. Yeah. Oh, what you got to say? What you got to say? I know, right? Just like you guys talk to me for a while because you could get to this friend and trust me to meet the friend next time we play. I know, man. I know. I got lucky, man. I got lucky, man. I know. Start your week by installing your game plan. Alright guys, that's it man. That's all I got right now. You know what I'm saying? I see you later. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah.